welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today we're back at Avengers Campus to do the thing that we've been most anticipating about this land. Yeah. And that is eat all the things. Yes. We're finally gonna eat all the things. Yeah, there's so much food at Pim's Test Kitchen and the Tasting Lab. And also, we still haven't seen that stunt show that happens above Avengers Headquarters. So, oh, and it's opening yeah. day. Hello, it's opening day. Yeah. It's well, crazy, it's exciting. Come with us on, on this, this adventure. adventure. If you want to ride on the new Spider-Man ride, you need to get a virtual queue. It's kind of like Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. And you actually can only choose one. At 7 a.m. from the comfort of your own home, you get on the app and <laughs> you be quick. It feels weird like getting a boarding group that isn't Rise of the Resistance. <laughs> I'm just as nervous. Go, 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 go. Come on, why is it going? Oh my God, mine's like frozen. Mine's oh, no. frozen. Current okay, booking window is now full. Didn't get it. Shoot. Wow. Um, okay, I guess we're trying again at 12. <laughs> we had a group of six people today. Normally I'm the quickest one, so I really am honestly shocked. We did try for Rise of the Resistance once and didn't get, didn't get it. So it does happen, <laughs> but we can still get in Avengers Campus. There is a standby line to get into the campus, yeah. and we do have a second chance at noon to get boarding passes for the Spider-Man attraction. So fingers crossed, again, double crossed. We're here for the opening day of Avengers Campus, and it is already pretty crazy. We made it in. And we got our ticket for the park and look at what I got. I got Spider-Man above Web Slingers. That's really exciting. And they also have souvenir maps. Yeah, they have souvenir maps and they're like nice. They're like that thick material. Yeah, they're like the opening day. Yeah, and then it has all the information and stuff you need. Ooh, look at that, it's like glossy. Awesome. <laughs> Welcome to Avengers Campus. We're inside already. Wow, I thought we'd be waiting around for like hours. Yeah. Yes. How excited are you, Ken? I am beyond excited. You know, it's like showtime today. We've been waiting forever. What's your favorite food here? What's my favorite food? Is I would say the chicken sandwich, chicken sandwich or the shawarma. Okay. Shawarma is awesome. You gotta try both of those for sure. Have fun, you guys. Thank you so much. Thanks, Ken. <laughs> That was the president of Disneyland. I know, and he recommended the chicken sandwich and the shawarma. <laughs> We're going to be eating everything, but you know, got to get those for sure. Hey! Look, Captain America and Captain Marvel are out there. Oh my gosh, wow, we're going to see them. We got a bunch of the heroes out here today. Oh, and Black Panther's over there. Oh my god. <laughs> it's funny, on the ground, they have all these social distance markers. I guess that's how far parties need to be away from each other. Of course, I don't know how they're going to enforce that, but but it's there. When we were here for the media day, they weren't playing any of the music. I know. Now the music is pumping, it's blasting, it's really getting me in the mood. Yeah, we're in here 45 minutes early and almost all the mobile order times are already out. Yeah, I didn't get a time until 1.50 p.m. So. But don't worry, I ordered everything on the menu. So pro tip, when you come here and you get through the DCA gates, make your mobile orders <laughs> fast because uh, I'm guessing for the near future, they're gonna be selling. Yeah. We ran into Ryan and of course he has all the fun toys. Yeah, he's got his... Painted spider bot. Oh, he's got a Captain America droid in there. Oh, so good. That is oh, awesome. that's awesome. I need to do a butt check on that. <laughs> oh, perfect. Oh my god, he had the shield. Yeah. That's so cool. So you probably know at the end of the Avengers, our heroes ate shawarma at this place in New York after the Battle of New York. Well, they apparently liked that shawarma place so much that they hired them to open up a cart here at Avengers Campus. And that's the shawarma palace. Yeah. So one of the cool things about this cart is adorned with all sorts of memorabilia. 
clippings from newspapers celebrating our heroes and also tying in the story of how these Avengers fell in love with shawarma in New York City and have used it for some good causes like raising some money for the people in Sokovia. I'm not sure how permanent this is, but they have constructed an eating zone right next to the Hyperion Theater. And over here, they have a second location of Shawarma Palace. It's called Shawarma Palace 2, T-O-O. -O. I love that. By the way, I noticed some fun Easter eggs on Shawarma Palace 2. First of all, there's a sticker for Web Paris because they're opening the Web Slinger attraction over in Paris. They have their own Avengers campus. And then, who doesn't want a good slice of pizza from Lucky Dog Pizza? Which you might know, Peter Parker likes. He has a sticker over by the web building. And the best cast member costume of all of Avengers Campus is the Swarm of Palace. <laughs> I love that, that uniform. It's for the Swarm of <laughs> it's hard to. <laughs> it's fine. It doesn't grip it. No, it doesn't. Oh. I got it. No. <laughs> you could have sat down. How many twists? It was supposed to be funny. <laughs> Tastes like victory. <laughs> and it lights up. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Does it look cool? I mean, you're already cool, but now with that, you're even cool. Does it look extra cool? Yes. I got this over at the Shorma Palace. That's where they're selling this. And it was one of the only things on the menu that like wasn't sold out for the day, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy though, because this is something that I actually really wanted. Breakfast is served until 11 a.m. here in Avengers Campus, so if you want to get yourself some breakfast foods, you got to be quick. You got to order your stuff early. And we got something from the Shawarma Palace. We got the Impossible Breakfast Shawarma. This is a plant-based sausage with egg omelet served with a spiced maple syrup. Oh, there's tater tots in there? Oh my God, there's tater tots and cheese in there. That wasn't on the description. What a pleasant surprise. You are never gonna believe me. This tastes like a McGriddle from McDonald's. No. This is amazing. It's a little bit spicy because of the spice and the syrup, but it's sweet at the same time. And then it has the cheese and the, the tater tots and the eggs and the impossible sausage. Literally just tastes like normal sausage. This is amazing, five out of five. So flavorful. I'm so happy. This is amazing. I'm having such a good day. <laughs> We're living our foodie dreams today. Oh my god, the new Captain America, Sam Wilson, just came out with his new suit and everything. Spoiler alert for Falcon and Winter Soldier. But oh my god, it's so cool to see him here. Oh my god, Iron Man's over here. Well, a lot of the Avengers here don't have new costumes. Iron Man actually has a whole new armor and it looks pretty cool. And he, and he talks. I wonder how interactive he is. Yeah, it's awesome. I've never been this close to Iron Man before. <laughs> it's right there. And of course, if you like alcoholic beverages, you need to get yourself to the PIM Tasting Lab. This is a innovative beverage laboratory, including specialty capped beers, beer cocktails, and some experimental cocktails. And that's what we're here to try today. What do you call a confused bee? A buzz boy. Bewildered. <laughs> you don't call him a buzz boy? No. Okay. So at the center of this bar is an oversized beer can that has been enlarged with pim particles. <laughs> and trivia alert, it's called Silver Age because that is the age of comics where comics basically took off as a popular medium. Oh, that's awesome! And this particular sleek, subtle, sophisticated beer is Chitorian Charged, which is a reference to the alien species from the first Avengers. They, they invaded Earth. Luckily, the Avengers were here to save the day. I love how all the beer taps are made out of enlarged articles, like utensils. There's even some popsicle sticks that have some jokes on them. I didn't notice that the Pim Test Kitchen ties have like this molecule kind of design on them. It's very cool. 
from Pim's Tasting Lab. The first drink that we're gonna try today is the Particle Fizz. This is an endless summer hard seltzer. It's a pog flavored, which is passion fruit, orange, and guava with cherry flavored boba on the bottom. Did, did we just pay like $17 for a hard <laughs> seltzer with boba? We basically just paid for a white cloth. I mean, I know this is like a different brand, but I mean, hey, it could be good. Yeah. I will say though, they don't give you a, a boba straw, they just give you a regular paper straw. So yeah, so those boba balls don't get sucked up. This is really good, really refreshing. It really does just taste like a hard seltzer. Unfortunately, because I can't suck up those cherry bobas, like it kind of loses some of the flavor. I feel like if I had a big enough straw and I got the, the balls with the seltzer, then I would enjoy this more, but it is nice and light and refreshing. I'd probably give it like a three out of five. I don't think I'd ever get it again, but you know, I'm happy to try it. I got the experiment, that's with the capital X, almost like X-Men, and this has Patron Silver Tequila, mango and habanero syrups, and mango flavored boba, and you know me, I like my spicy drinks. And this one, the, the boba's on the top. Oh yeah, so, you're right, interesting. So I guess you don't need a straw on this one? <laughs> oh wow. Sour, with a little bit of a, a spicy kick to it. Those boba balls being on top helps a lot compared to the one you had. And we didn't mention that these come in their own like plastic collectible cups. It's almost like a measuring cup. Some of your $17 or $18 that you pay for a drink is going for the novelty cup that you get to bring home. I like this a lot. I think I would give this five out of five people. Whoa! They also serve a bunch of beer here at Pim Tasting Lab. And in case you're unsure of which one you want to get, you could order the pint size pints mini beer flight. And this is so much fun because it's like a ruler that's been enlarged and then the pint glasses, the beer glasses have been shrunk. It comes with a marshmallow milk stout, the Space Dust IPA, the Cali Squeeze Blood Orange Heffenweizen, and then a hard seltzer seasonal. This one is the Pog, which is the same from that other drink that I just tried. Let's start with the first one on the list, which is that stout. Mm. Wow. What did I say that was? Marshmallows? Yeah. It really tastes like marshmallows. Okay. Okay, Pim, I see what you're, you're testing in your tasting lab. Next up is that Space IPA. Whoa, yep, that's IPA. This one I'm the most excited for because I'm a big fan of Heffenweizen. Look at that color, so beautiful. This almost tastes like a, a beer mosa. Like it tastes like beer mixed with orange juice because it's that blood orange flavor. Delicious. Last but not least is this hard seltzer. I have a feeling it's gonna taste exactly like that other drink. Yeah, yeah, I don't like that. It almost tastes like flat or something, which is a shame because it's like opening day, but I get it. Five out of five because it's fun. And I just noticed when you remove the cups, it has all these like scientific formulas. So the guy, and then the bottom of this ruler says property of him. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. I feel like I'm gonna be so smart by the, the time I'm done drinking these all. I'll be like a scientist. Is this like the Fibonacci? No, no, no. This is actually the mountain from A Nightmare Before Christmas. There's a scientist in that movie too. A mad scientist. <laughs> and of course, because Kitcher got the beer, I had to get the last cocktail. I don't know. Uh, oh, I'm this guy. <laughs> is that why you got it? No. This is called the Honey Buzz. This is Plymouth gin, lemon juice, and honey syrup. And it actually has a honey straw inside there. So I don't know what you do, if you suck on that or, or what. <laughs> Yeah, but I think that's what you do. We try. Oh my god, that's sweet. Sweet and uh... Sweet just like you. Just like my honey. <laughs> yeah, it definitely has that honey taste. I'm not sure what which I like better. Oh no. Do I like the experiment better or do I like the honey buzz? I feel like these are now my two go-to drinks here at DCA. Five out of five, Peters. Whoa. Kitchen's already tried this. It's an ordinary adventure star. Yeah, I can attest. It's very good. 
<laughs> oh my god, I feel so honored. Ant-Man joined us. You see him down there? <laughs> or is that the wasp? Which one is it? Yeah, it's so good to see you, Ant-Man. I was hoping we see Ant-Man today in Avengers Campus. Awesome. Not funny. It's not funny. It's almost noon and you can tell it's gotten quiet. Everybody's ready. You ready? No. I'm not. Come on, Disney app. Do not do me dirty. Oh, go. Go. It's not loading. Join. Come on. Join. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's really disrespectful to people who don't get it, but I got 134. Yes! I think that's good. <laughs> it's funny, you hear people cheering. It's like, it's like Rise of the Resistance. Oh my god, it says estimated wait time 360 minutes. I can't do math, but that seems like a long time. <laughs> yeah, it's a while. <laughs> it's okay, but... We saw all these Avengers Campus cast members lining up like this, so we think that a fight is about to begin above Avengers headquarters. Disarmed. Sensor offline. Nothing to see here. Move along. Friday, don't put him through! Uh, yeah, she put me through. Hi, Nat, everything okay? You need help? I don't need help! Intruders! Step aside. I won't ask a second time. Be ready. Taskmaster has the ability to master and replicate your fighting skills. Okay, I've now seen the stunt show a few times from different angles, and if there's any one pro tip I can give you today to take for your visit to Avengers Campus, is the best place to watch the stunt show is from the seating area for Pim's Test Kitchen that's right to the right of the main entrance to the kitchen. Like, you can see everything beautifully from over here, but if you're over on the walkway, it's, depending on where you are, you can't see, you know, one third of the show to one half of the show because just the sight lines don't work out. So, pro tip, munch on some stuff, drink some stuff, and enjoy the stunt show. It makes me wish that like they would bring something like this to Galaxy's Edge. Oh I, yeah. I hate to compare this to Galaxy's Edge, but it's like, ugh, I just wish. 
The main restaurant here in Avengers Campus is called Pim Test Kitchen. And as you know, it's based off of Pim from Ant-Man, the Pim particles, which can shrink things and make things big. So all the food in there is either comically huge or comically tiny. And it all looks so good. We ordered it all. We're gonna try it all. We'll be the, the Pim Test Kitchen testers. Right? Yes. Trademark. <laughs> Speaking of comically big, they have a smartphone that's been enlarged to show off the menu here. And you can see all the items. You can even translate it to other languages and there might be some Easter eggs. That's kind of cool. I didn't notice that the other day when we were in here. So what did we order here? Um, good question. I went a little crazy. I, I panicked and I got one of everything on the menu, pretty much. And we're going to get that back to the table. We have a crew of people that are going to help us carry it. Okay. Thankfully. One of them, butt check, has a raccoon too. <laughs> so once you get your order from Kim's Test Kitchen, they have the drinks. The drinks are on the ceiling. They have been enlarged to save money. So they've, <laughs> they've used some particles to blow up some, some Coke, some Minute Maid, and then it goes and gets fed. You see that? That's like one of those... Um, what do you call that? A bread tie? You know what that date is? April 6th? What is it? Iron Man? Or... Paul, Br Paul Rudd's birthday. Really? Yeah. That's... Wow, I would have never known that. Don't worry, they also have giant ketchup and giant mustard, which I appreciate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where does it go to? That's the question. Because it comes out these tubes, and then it just, like, disappears. And then, becomes free water. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge has the blue and green milks, and here at Avengers Campus you can get your own in-universe drink. It is the Pingo Dose, and this is the drink that you might remember from the Incredible Hulk. Bruce Banner worked at the Pingo Dose bottling plant in Rio de Janeiro, and his gamma radiated blood dripped into one of the bottles, which was eventually drunk by Stan Lee. Oh no, are you sure you want to drink that? Yes. <laughs> in, the, in the movie, I think the drink was made out of guarana. I'm not even sure what that is or what it tastes like. Here it tastes like, I think it's like a lemon lime beverage of sorts. And you can get it out of the Coke Freestyle machine or you can get it in this collectible, like, what do you call this, a neck? Sipper. Sipper. And you open the can, just like you would. <laughs> you look so silly holding that. What, what, what's so silly about this? Nothing, it's actually really cool. This is amazing. I'm not sure if you remember this, but when we first went into Galaxy's Edge, I was not impressed by the green or blue milk. The blue milk has grown on me over time. This is great. It, it tastes like if you took Sprite and you took Mountain Dew and they had a baby and that baby had a vanilla taste to it, that's what this <laughs> tastes like. Five out of five, Peters. Yes. Kitch has already tried this. Ordinary Adventure Star. Get this when you're here. Even if you don't want the one that comes around your neck. But it does come with like one of those pim discs, which is kind of cool too. And it has all sorts of fun things yeah. on it. Like right here it says, this product can contain pim may Give contain pim particles. It's kind of funny. I don't know. I, I like the novelties that they sell here. This in the the Avengers Gauntlet. Well done. So I don't know if you knew this or not, but Dr. Pim wanted to solve world hunger with his pim particles. And part of that mission was to take small foods and make them big. And I think this quantum pretzel is a great example of that. As you saw inside the lobby of the restaurant, he's using his quantum machine to make them big. So you know we had to try it. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> Would you look at it? I don't even know how to eat this. Looks like it also comes with a mustard sauce. But I paid like a dollar extra for this beer cheese. So we're going to try that. <laughs> Wow, this is really good. I don't think I've ever had beer cheese before. I don't know what I was expecting, but it literally tastes like nacho cheese mixed with beer. <laughs> but it's like good at the same time. Honestly though, I don't even think you need the dip. This is awesome how it is, and it's fun to share with a big group of people. Five out of five. It's a nice pretzel. It's soft, crunchy on the outside, nice amount of salt. I like it. Good job, Dr. Pam.
When they first announced the food for the land, the thing I was excited to try the most was the PB Suburb Squared. This is a warm peanut butter and jelly with banana candied bacon on pim particle bread with micro banana smoothie and crispy potato bites. Oh my god, look at that. Look at the bread. The bread, the blue streak in the bread. What happened there? Look at that bacon. It's candied bacon. By the way, you can get a your if you want a side order of that bacon. I think you can get it for like three or four bucks. This is incredible. <laughs> this is the best peanut butter and jelly sandwich I've ever had. But it's also very messy. This candied bacon is like crack. <laughs> it really is like so sweet. That banana. I'm not usually a banana peanut butter and jelly fan. I don't think those blue streaks do anything for it, but but it looks good. Looks good for your gram. Five out of five, Peters. Kids already had this. So it Ordinary Avenger star. star. Y'all know it. Next up is the Impossible Spoonful. This is rigatoni and ditalini pastas with a plant-based meatball. The fun thing about this is it comes in this gigantic spoon and then has this teeny tiny fork. <laughs> It's so fun. I don't know. I'm like loving all of this big and small food. It tastes like a real meatball. It's not like too dry or anything. Like it's nice and juicy. And then, you know, the pasta pretty much just tastes like your standard marinara sauce with pasta. It's good. Like I feel like this is like a fun dish for kids. It's not like my personal favorite. Like I don't think I'd probably ever get it again. Oh, but so it, that means that you're probably not going to give it a five out of five kid trips. Well, yeah, not everything can get a five, okay? But it still probably gets like a three and a half. I mean, it's fun. Who doesn't want a giant meatball with a tiny fork and a big spoon? Next up is the Pimini. This is the one that's been recommended to us the most, I think. What this is is salami, rosemary ham, provolone, sun-dried tomato spread on a toasted focaccia with marinara, dipping sauce, and arugula salad. And yes, this is the thing that you have seen. There's a hundred dollar version of this. This is one slice right here. And the, the big sandwich, the hundred dollar one, is eight of these. Wow. So can you get your legacy pass holder discount on that? I don't know. It's a hearty sandwich. It's big, like, it looks like it's small, but you look on the side view. It's a it's thick, it's thick. a thick boy. It's very thick. <laughs> This is good. This, I thought maybe this would be too small for one person, but I think this is a meal on its own. I'm gonna give this a five out of five. Whoa, I'm surprised. You know I don't hand those out every day. You don't. I'm not Ketra. You're not. <laughs> Definitely not. But this is really good. So I recommend if you like sandwiches, get the Pimini. And it's a great pun. This is the Caesar salad with colossal crouton and it comes with a garlic crouton and Parmesan crisps. I'm gonna eat the crouton first and then I'll try the salad, I guess. Oh, there's blue in it too. What is yeah, going on? There's blue in like all of the bread here. What is going on? Whoa. <laughs> this kind of tastes like Texas toast but like also like a crouton. Oh, it's not like crispy? It's like softer than I thought. It has a nice crisp on the outside, but the inside is like fluffy. Let's see if the salad's any good. Mm. That's good too. Doesn't quite get a five, but I'm gonna give it a four because it is really good. And if you're in the mood for a salad, get the salad. <laughs> they do this show a lot. I know. We're standing in like this spot where like the show keeps going off. It's fine though. That was cool. The Dormalaja just came out and Captain America saluted them from the second floor. That was, that, that was nice. This is another one of those fun ones, the ones where they have enlarged something to a comical size. This is the not so little chicken sandwich. This is a giant spicy breaded chicken breast on a small bun. Mm. And that honestly <laughs> is a little exaggerated because that bun is not small, it's tiny. By the way, I like the presentation on all this. Yeah. They have the Pim, it has my secret recipe, Scott Wang's secret <laughs> recipe. My question to you is how do you pick this up? Uh, you just gotta go for it, man. Comically small, okay. 
think what I wasn't expecting was this sauce. It's like a chipotle mayo, and it is very tasty. It has a little bit of spicy kick. By the way, I'm not sure if you knew this, but I am a connoisseur of spicy chicken sandwiches. <laughs> he is. Yeah. I honestly, in my right mind, cannot call this a chicken sandwich. This is basically fried chicken with two little pieces of bread. But this is very good. I think it's probably better eaten not as a uh, finger food and actually just use a knife and a fork. But I, oh my God, am I gonna do this? Another five out of five Peters. Wow. I mean, it comes with tots. Oh yeah, it comes with tots. And you know we love the tots. Well, you're a connoisseur of tots, that's what I heard. I'm a connoisseur of this meal. Yes. Ordinary adventure star. <laughs> This is an atomic fusion pretzel, and this is a buffalo style loaded pretzel with chicken, blue cheese, celery, carrots, all that stuff. Why does this keep happening to me? Oh, it's all falling through the cracks. Oh no! <laughs> Whose bright idea was this? This tastes exactly like what you think it would. It's a pretzel with buffalo sauce and chicken and blue cheese. Probably only gets like a two and a half out of five for me. Wow. It's good, it's tasty. If this is like your thing, you're really gonna like it. But for me, you know, I'll stick to the quantum one. It gets very hot here at Avengers Campus, especially in the summer. And that's why I got the Proton PB&J Punch. This is Minute Maid Lemonade with peanut butter and strawberry flavors with a PB infused whipped cream and <laughs> peanut butter pretzel spears. I'm honestly not sure if I like this or not. What? I either like it a lot or I hate it. The peanut butter is like more kind of like how you mix it with chocolate, not fruit in my mind. You know what, I'm gonna give it like three and a half out of five Peters. It's not bad, it's just not exceptional. I would get something over at the Pim Tasting Lab instead. And for dessert, we got ourselves the Celestial Size Candy Bar, Choco Smash Candy Bar, with dark chocolate, peanuts, caramel, nougat, and chocolate brownie. Oh, this thing is big. I don't know if you can tell how big this actually is, but it's huge. It's huge. And I got myself a big old bite, because I ain't playing around here. I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. This is amazing. It tastes like a snicker mixed with a Milky Way, mixed with a brownie, mixed with whatever else. You name it, it's amazing. Five out of five. And this was only $8. I feel like it's huge for the price. Like the value there, five out of five. So another pro tip, if you're here and you're a Legacy Pass holder, they have a special Legacy Pass holder magic shot that you want to get, and I'll show you where it is. So if you go to the Carsland entrance to Avengers Campus, right over here is where the Legacy Pass Holder photo op is. And there is a magic photo here that you might not want to miss. And here's what our photo looks like, right here. <laughs> the ultimate butt check right here. We've got America's butt right there. So remember the other day we were here and you showed me that grade that had the gamma radiation coming out of it? Yeah. Something I didn't notice at that time. What? But there's a little tree right here. There's a little tree right there. But right in front of us. Is a big tree? Yes. The gamma radiation that made Hulk <laughs> has enlarged that tree. That's so good. Isn't that awesome? That's actually really clever. Yeah. That's funny. I, I think it's it. my favorite. Easter egg or inside joke here. Yeah. And don't forget, there is another ride in Avengers Campus. It is Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. And right across from that ride is a place to get some nice desserts. It's called Terran Treats. When we were here a few weeks ago, we were wondering what was going to go in this box. We thought it was going to be a display of the churros and the food that's going to be here, but it looks like it's some props. Oh. So what, what do you think these props are? I don't recognize them. Well, this is obviously Rocket Raccoon's calculator right here, right? Is it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> From Terran Treats, we got the Sweet Spiral Ration, and this is pineapple flavored, but eventually they're going to have six different flavors, six different colors, each representing the Infinity Gems, and the colors 
are not gonna line up with the flavors. This one's green and it's pineapple. <laughs> so, but I, I guess they're gonna come out seasonally. So next one, maybe in a few months. So when we were picking this up at the counter, the lady that was making them was really heavy on putting the sugar on it. Yeah. So it is caked in sugar. And I gotta say, this is smaller than I thought. Like if this is a churro, this is like a half a churro. This is so strange, but so good. It's hard to describe. Our friend Bricky compared it to a cinnamon roll. And it's kind of like that. If you look down at this, how it kind of has like a different flavor on the inside. It's not as like crunchy as a I mean, it has a crunchy outside. It's really hard to describe. I think people are either going to love or hate this. Wow, really? This is good. This is the Cosmic Cream Ore. This is a cream puff filled with raspberry cheesecake. Look at how glittery it is. This is inspired, of course, by Guardians of the Galaxy, the opening scene where Star-Lord goes in and he steals the purple orb thing, case, gem, infinity stone. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's what this is Yeah, it's an right. orb that contains the purple infinity stone. Yes, which is, ugh, love that movie. Yeah. I'm excited to finally eat it. You know what I was thinking when I watched that movie? When am I going to get to eat that? <laughs> and now I finally get to. I'm sure you were not thinking that, but... I was. How do you know? I will say, this looks smaller than I thought it was going to be. It's very small. Yeah. It's very small. Both of these are very small and very expensive, but you're paying for novelty here, yeah. people. Oh, yeah. You're not <laughs> making it look appetizing. Oh, yeah. I'm just making a mess is what I'm doing. Five out of five. Let's get in the star. Go try these treats. It looks cool. so much cooler at night. Does it? I mean, it's not even nighttime, but it looks cool. I feel really cool right now. I'm, I mean, not, I'm not you, gonna lie. You are the coolest person in the campus. Thank you. <laughs> I know we've said this before, that this place is gonna look so cool at night. That Quinjet, everything is starting to light up. <laughs> I was trying to like, just imagine like a thumbs up. Like. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like that. What was he commenting on? I don't know, he pointed at that. Everybody just loves this, okay? Even Loki. <laughs> Avengers Campus looks so amazing at night. It's almost a shame that it's only open at night for like one or two hours at this point. I know, but you know what? We got to enjoy it for that one hour. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to come back. I want to see the Doctor Strange show. Cause it looks like it would be so much more magical at night. And uh, you know, today was an opening day. There were some problems. Mobile water sold out in like an hour. Spider-Man broke. The <laughs> things went wrong. There were lines everywhere. I, I think they're gonna fix it. Uh, I, I'm I'm excited to come back. I, Me too. I wanna see what this land is like on like June 16th. Yeah, but I still had such a fun day. Yeah, and we ended up not going on web slingers. We ended up giving our two boarding passes to some friends that didn't get passes and haven't been on it. We've already been on it at the press day. So so that's why the footage isn't here, if you're wondering. But if you want to see the rest of our Avengers Campus coverage, we'll put it right over there. And also, we're going to have more coverage. So please subscribe below if you aren't already subscribed. We want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes Mary Isabella, Kimberly Moore, and Velcro Kid. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure. Snap! <laughs> <laughs>